Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we have another example in polar coordinates. Uh, the diagram shows top view of the stage. Uh, a spotlight is tracking an actor as he moves across the stage to the right with a constant velocity in horizontal direction along the x-axis. Uh, the question is, what values do we need for angular velocity theta dot and angular acceleration theta double dot of the spotlight so that it remains fixed on the actor as he moves with the given velocity? So uh, let me show you the xy coordinate system. Let this be the x axis. And suppose this is the y-axis in vertical direction. So usually we measure from origin to where the moving object is. That is the radial direction. So this is the r-vector. And I'll draw a unit vector in that direction. So this is the positive u sub r the unit radial unit vector u sub r and then the second coordinate theta is the angle this is the angular displacement theta and the unit vector the transverse unit vector u sub theta is in the direction of positive theta perpendicular to r so this is how I have to show the transverse unit vector. Positive is pointing this way, perpendicular to radial unit vector. So this is u sub theta, the transverse unit vector. However, the actor is moving horizontally to the right with a constant speed. So what we want to do is take this velocity vector and resolve it into two components perpendicular and parallel to r to find the v sub r and v sub theta i'll do this in a different color so that visually we can see it better so let's say that i draw this perpendicular line parallel to transverse direction this is one component of velocity and the other component of it is what I'm showing over here. So this is V sub R and this is V sub theta. Uh, observe that. Uh, observe that V sub theta. I want to write. Observe that I already have the hypotenuse of this triangle and I have this angle as 55, so I should easily be able to find V sub R and V sub theta. Let's do that. If v sub R has a magnitude of 55 cosine of, I mean, sorry, 0.75 meters per second, which is the hypotenuse 0.75 meters per second, times cosine of 55, but observe that the direction is opposite to u sub r so i don't want to forget the minus sign minus 0.75 cosine 55 this is the radial component and the transverse component of velocity is opposite to the angle it is also negative so i have minus 0.75 sine 55 so now i have the two components of velocity and if I do the numerical calculation the radial component which is really R dot turns out to be minus 0 0.4302 this is a metric problem so meters per second are the units and the transverse component recall from our equations the transverse component v sub theta is r theta dot so if i plug numbers in this equation i can 
find theta dot or angular speed of the spotlight v sub theta is this numerical value um, which is let's write it as it is 0 0.75 sine 55 equals to distance r is 20 meters times theta dot so I can solve this equation and get theta dot equal to minus 0 0.037 I mean 0 0.72 if I round to so many digits and this is a an angular speed therefore the units must be radians per second so that's one thing we were after the other unknown to be found is angular acceleration or theta double dot okay so let's write the equation for theta double dot or a sub theta a sub theta recall includes contains um, contains theta double dot recall from our equations that the transverse component of acceleration is r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot uh, the reason that I'm using this equation is because I've already found theta dot and r dot is found as minus 0 0.4302 so I have uh, these knowns, that's why I want to plug numbers in it to find the desired unknown. So, let's go ahead and plug numbers and figure out what angular acceleration is. And uh, you see why I'm letting a sub theta equal to zero. Since the man uh, is moving with a constant velocity, both speed and which is the magnitude and the direction of velocity are both constant therefore the total acceleration vector is zero if total acceleration is zero then every component of it such as a sub theta must be zero so if i plug r equal to 20 meters times theta double dot plus 2 r dot which is minus 0.4302 times theta dot which is minus 0 0.03072 equal to zero so um, take a calculator and do the numerical calculations and get theta double dot equal to minus 0 0.001321 in units of radians per second squared so this is the second unknown or angular acceleration of the rotating spotlight and observe that uh, as far as the signs are concerned you see they agree with the physical situation both theta dot and theta double dot are negative and observe that this is the i mean this is the positive this is the positive direction as far as angle theta or the polar coordinate system is concerned so the negative sign for both theta dot and theta double dot mean that indeed as we initially showed the angular speed and angular acceleration are opposite to that or they are in clockwise direction so this gives you another perspective for um, polar coordinate system. Thanks for watching.